Yeah, well, hey, Trisha, a special day for the Rebels as Barry Odom was officially introduced as UNLV's next head football coach. And for Odom, he says he can't wait to hit the ground running and build something special here in Las Vegas. Coach, first off, congratulations on the job. Uh, what's the last 24 hours been like for you? Thanks so much. We're, we're so excited as a family to be here. Uh, tremendous opportunity. Very thankful for the leadership uh, from the president and the athletic director in leading the vision on what UNLV is and what we're going to be. Um, the 24 hours have been fast and furious, uh, the way it should be, and uh, with great urgency in every way. So the, the administration has done such a great job on making sure everything's so well organized, and uh, that's made it a seamless transition for me. Why Las Vegas? Why UNLV? It's the right time for this job uh, for me. And I think the leadership, it starts there with Eric Harper. Uh, a look at what he is going to do and has done with this athletics department I want to be a part of. But then also the support. And then there's one Vegas in this world, and we need to make it our city. And we did, we've got to do a great job with this football team, making sure we're in the community, that there is a, a galvanized group that we're going to work together to achieve great heights. You've got SEC head coaching experience. Uh, what did you learn from it, and how can that help you here now? Yeah, I believe you, you always learn from your opportunities and your experiences. And, and you know, I, I said in the press conference, I'm a lot better coach today than I was last year at this time. And you always learn from those things, and, and especially you know, five years ago. They don't give, once you become a head coach, they don't give you a manual and say, okay, here's how to be a head coach. You learn and there's no, there, there's no trade off for the experience. So I look forward to the lessons, the successes, some of the setbacks we had. I look forward that I've learned from those and put them into play here. With the way co the college football landscape is right now, the transfer portal, um, the early signing day, why is it so important for you to keep this group of guys that you've got right now? Yeah, that was my first message to them yesterday at 2.30 is I need the group that was in that team meeting we need them to stay and we need them together because that's going to be the foundation. That's the culture of what we're going to become as our team is that core group.